Well, I'm honored to welcome the Prime Minister. We've known each other for some time. And uh, welcome to the White House. Welcome to the Oval, Mr. Prime Minister. Iraq has been a vital part for the, a part of the United States for some time now in the Middle East. And we've been, I've engaged deeply in Iraq for my entire career, back in the Senate as Vice President and uh, as President. And uh, I've worked with Iraq uh, to uh, and a matter of fact, my son Bo was in Iraq for a year uh, with, the, with the Army National Guard. And the sacrifices that so many, uh, so many have made to build the U.S.-Iraq partnership has been real, and it's consequential. And my administration is committed to strengthening that partnership, Mr. Prime Minister. And uh, the U.S.-Iraqi strategic dialogue is about commitments that expand our cooperation on issues like health care, climate, energy. For a matter of fact, I want to tell you, I was told you the half a million, uh, 500,000 doses of COVID vaccine we're sending, I was told, you were told, they wouldn't come for a while. They'll be there in a couple weeks. Thank you. They'll be there quickly. Uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, we support strengthening Iraq's democracy, and we're anxious to make sure the election goes forward in October. And uh, we're also committed to our security cooperation. Our, uh, our shared fight against ISIS is critical for the stability of the region. And our counterterrorism cooperation uh, will continue, even as we shift to this new phase we're going to be talking about. I'm looking forward to consulting with the Prime Minister today. We have a lot to talk about. He's been a good friend, and uh, I'm anxious to get going. The floor is yours, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. It's a great honor to be here today with our American friends. Uh, we have a strategic partnership. I'm happy here in Washington to discuss the future of our nation and how to prove this relation between our two countries. America, they help Iraq. Together, we fight and feed ISIS. And I'd like to thank the American people on behalf of all Iraqi people. Mr. President, I thank you for all the blood and reserve the American has given for a free and democratic Iraq. Today, our relation is stronger than ever. Our partnership exists for economy, the environment, health, educated, culture, and more. I'm looking forward to work with you, Mr. President, to bring our two countries more closer for benefit of Iraq and the United States. God bless our two countries. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you folks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, hang on a second. If you want to talk about Iraq, Ask me a question yes, about sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. How many troops would you like to see in Iraq um, uh, by the end of this year? And how does the relationship change, considering this is the last strategic dialogue that you have with Iraq and the Prime Minister? This most recent dialogue. Correct. Right? Well, we've been talking a lot. Our foreign ministers, our, our cabinet members have been talking. We're looking forward to seeing uh, uh, an election in October. We're working very hard with the Iraqi government to uh, make sure the UN and the GCC are, we have oversight, that there's, these are full and fair elections. I've been in, I've been in, uh, in contact with uh, Karmi. Uh, uh, I have, uh, anyway, I think things are going well. Our role in Iraq will be as a uh, dealing with not — it's just to be available to continue to train, to assist, to help, and to deal with ISIS as it, as it arrives. But uh, we are not going to be by the end here in a combat mission. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Veterans Affairs is going to have a mandate for its health care. I'm going to answer your question because you've known each other for so long. It has nothing to do with Iraq. I take answer, that as a compliment, no, no. Mr. President. <laughs> um, I'll answer your question. Yes, Veteran Affairs is going to, in fact, require that all docs working in that and facilities are going to have to be vaccinated.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.